Wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. <coughs> oh. <coughs> it is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <coughs> <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll go, Peppa. <laughs> Good shot, Peppa. <laughs> oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. Oh, it's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Peppa, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Peppa. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. Oh. Ah, tea for the workers. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Uh, what's going on? We're making a flower garden. Do we need a flower garden? Yes. yes. But that's where I sit in my chair. There are more important things than chairs, Daddy Pig. But I always read my newspaper here. There are more important things than newspapers, Daddy Pig. Yes, like flowers. Look. Daddy. <laughs> Pepper has lots of flower seeds. George only has one flower seed. Oh. But it is quite a big seed. <laughs> <laughs> Could you fetch us some water, Daddy Pig? Hmm. OK. Seeds need water to grow. They get very thirsty. Some little birds have come to watch. Don't let the birds eat the seeds, Peppa. Shoo, shoo. Fly away, birdies. Here's the water. Daddy scared the birds away. Oh, ho, ho. Daddy Pig looks like a scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, George, bath time. Oh, but what if the birdies come back? Don't worry, Peppa. I'll make sure the birds don't eat the seeds. Thank you, Daddy. Good luck, Daddy Pig. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ah, this is nice. Daddy, you have to be the scarecrow. What? Oh, shoo, shoo, naughty birds. Now, stay there until the birdies go to bed. Oh, oh. OK, Peppa. All the birdies have gone to bed. Daddy Pig can go inside now. <coughs> no, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. <coughs> You're playing with the car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig! Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need 
is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What are drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. The fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? It is Mr Pool and his friends. Bigger! Crane! Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy. Ho, ho. I'll get there first. Bye. I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes. Everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous. It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. <laughs> like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that. Bush. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on, we'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull. <laughs> Daddy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, look! There's something glittering. They're coins. When I was little, we used to throw a coin in the pond and make a wish. Can we throw coins in? <laughs> of course. I wish the fish pond stays here forever. Oh, oh, that's what I wished for when I was a little piggy. And your wish came true, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Daddy! Why are you here? I'm working with Mr Bull. Ooh! It looks like Mr Bull is doing all the work. Mr Bull just builds the playground. Mm -hmm. I do the hard bit, planning it all. Ah! I've worked it all out with science. That sounds very interesting, Daddy Pig. It is. Would you like to teach the children some simple science? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start by doing an experiment. <laughs> what is an experiment? It's a way to find something out that we don't know. Like, how many children does it take to lift Madame Gazelle? One. A hundred. Ten hundred. <laughs> You're all just guessing. What's the answer? I don't know, but we can use an experiment to find out. Who wants to try and lift Madame Gazelle? Me! Me! Ooh. I can't lift her. Madame Gazelle is too heavy for one child to lift. Let's try two children. <laughs> <laughs> She's very heavy. Madame Gazelle is too heavy for two children to lift. Let's try three children. <laughs> <laughs> it takes three children to lift Madame Gazelle. We just did some simple science. It was fun. <laughs> Let's do another experiment. Yes! <laughs> Make a tower of blocks. <laughs>
very good, but the tower looks a bit wobbly. Oh. How can we make the tower less wobbly? Um, put the big blocks at the bottom and the small blocks at the top. Fantastic! Edmund Elephant is a clever clog. What was that? It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah... Keep a good look out, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, oh, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this! Ooh! Ooh. It's good, it's good, it's a good throw! Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Oh, uh, no worries, mate. <laughs> Let's do lots of sounds and surprise Daddy. What a good idea. Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are recording lots of different sounds. In the kitchen. In the bedroom. <laughs> in the living room. In the hallway. <laughs> even in the garden. Pepper, George. Daddy will be home soon. Have you finished recording your sounds? <laughs> no, Mummy. There's just one more. Come on, George. Follow me. What sound can it be? It's a very important sound. Peppa <laughs> is going into the bathroom. Flush the toilet, George. <laughs> Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> I've been looking forward to playing my new synthesizer all day. Mmm, lovely music. It's even more lovely with the buttons, Daddy. <laughs> Play it again. All right. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? That's me! We've made lots of silly sounds. Play it again! <laughs> it's funny music, Daddy. Oh, oh, it certainly is. Daddy Pig loves funny music. Everyone loves funny music. Pepper is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Moo! Hello, Pepper. Hello, Mr. Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh, would you?
Would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr Bull and Mrs Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> it's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh. And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Oh. Oh. Fun, wasn't it? Yes, yes. lots, lots of, of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> What's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? I saw. <laughs> George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too dinosaur -y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in it. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <laughs> That was the last fish tank. Oh, we haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the aquarium cafe. Oh, goody. My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Ho, oh, oh. ho! It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. <laughs> Mr Wolf and Mr Pig are crossing the river together. I'm really hungry now. Hooray! We're here! Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Who? Oh. Grampy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic. <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic. <laughs> oh, you're right there. Uh, what about me, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> it is Mrs Duck and her friends. Hello, Mrs Duck. If you've come for the picnic, you'll have to wait for the little boat, like me. Or you could just swim across, like you're doing. <laughs> Here's the picnic hamper, everybody! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> and here are the ducks. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> 
Would you like some cheese, Grumpy Rabbit? Well, uh, I should really be getting back. Oh, I do love a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love jelly. I love sandwiches. Strawberry! <laughs> <laughs> They've forgotten me. Here's some cake for you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> Is cake your favourite? It's Daddy's favourite too. Oh, where is Daddy? We forgot Daddy. Ahoy there! I've come to take you to the picnic. Hooray! Daddy Pig! Oh, we forgot you. But I saved you some jelly. I saved you a sandwich. And George saved you a strawberry. <laughs> How nice of you all. Is there any cake? No, we gave it to the ducks. But look, Mrs Duck has saved you a worm. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy and George can take... Dinosaur. <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow! That's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa, why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. It is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. Whoa! <laughs> That's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! 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 bye. This is the airport. Goodbye! Huh? Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Daddy Pig is digging a hole in the school garden for the time capsule. There. Can we dig it up now? Ha <laughs> ha. It will remain in the ground for many years. Aw, but I can't wait that long. Pepper, you are just like your daddy when he was little. Am I? Yes, I remember when I was his teacher. Did you teach my daddy? Yes, I taught all of your mummies and daddies. Didn't I? Yes, yes mademoiselle. <laughs> <laughs> when your mummies and daddies were little, they made a time capsule too. Yes, we did. We buried it next to a little tree. Can we dig it up? Yes. I think we buried it over here. Oh, I thought it was a much smaller tree. Oh, it was a long time ago. The tree has grown a bit since then. <laughs> <laughs> I found something. It's our old time capsule. Hooray! I can't wait to open it. <laughs> Stand back, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What do we have here? Oh, an old comic. That was my favourite comic. A tin toy? My favourite toy. Music. My favourite record. 
And a very old carrot. That's mine. What a good choice, Mummy. Oh, <laughs> <gasps> and a videotape of your mummies and daddies when they were little. Ooh. <laughs> Who's the little piggy in the glasses? Oh, that's Daddy Pig. Oh, and that's me. Hello to the future. <laughs> what a squeaky voice you have. <laughs> You're probably living on the moon now. <laughs> Silly little daddy pig. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mr. Bull, the bin man. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Mr. Mr. Bull. Bull. Hello, everyone. Must be off. <laughs> Lots of rubbish to collect. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Mr. Bull has emptied the rubbish bin for us. Good. Let's clear up the breakfast things. Can we help, Mummy? Yes, you can. Let's throw this empty bottle in the bin. Pepper, stop. What? We don't put bottles in the rubbish bin. They can be recycled. What does that mean? All the things we can't use again, we put in the rubbish bin for Mr. Bull. But all the things that can be used again are put in these recycle boxes. The red one is for newspapers, the blue one is for tin cans, and the green one is for bottles. Pepper, you have a bottle, so which box does it go in? Um, the green one. Yes. <laughs> this is fun. Now it's George's turn. Can you find a newspaper for the red box? <laughs> George wants to recycle Daddy Pig's newspaper. Oh, oh, I haven't finished with my newspaper just yet, George. You can have it in a minute. Oh, all right. Here you are, George. <laughs> Newspapers go in the red box, George. <laughs> Now that we have collected enough things, we can go to the recycle centre. Hooray! Let's go! Mummy Pig has the bottles. Pepper has the tin cans. And George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! Then, I print the shapes out. Wow! <laughs> and here's another copy. Thank you. What a nice job Mrs Cat has. Can I have a go? Maybe it's George's turn now. That's right, George. It's your turn to do some work. <laughs> George is making blue triangles. Now we print them out. <laughs> I like doing Mrs Cat's job. <laughs> Do you want to see my desk now? Yes, please. <laughs> this is Daddy Pig's desk. My job is quite complicated. I take big numbers, transmute them and calculate their load-bearing tangents. Daddy Pig's job sounds very important. Do you use rubber stamps? No. Do you use a computer? No, but I do use colouring pens. Daddy, can we draw with your colouring pens? Good idea. <laughs> Pepper and George love drawing with colouring pens. I'm drawing a house. George is drawing a dinosaur. <laughs> George always draws dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> My goodness, five o'clock already. It is home time. I say, what a splendid picture of a house. And what a fierce dinosaur. George and I have been doing Daddy's job. And they've been doing it very well. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. And I like doing Mrs Cat's job. But I like doing Daddy's job the best. <laughs> <laughs> And 
Would you like this old chair? Oh, most generous. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mummy, who gave away Daddy's chair? Shh, don't tell him. He'll never notice. <laughs> it is the day of the jumble sale. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Pepper, how about this chair? It's a bit rubbish, but you can chop it up and use it for firewood. But it's an antique. Is it? Daddy said it's worth lots of money. Well, I never. I'd better put the price up. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. What did you give, Susie? I gave my nurse's outfit. I gave my parrot balloon. I gave my toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I will miss my jack-in-the-box. Can I buy this jack-in-the-box, please? And I'd like this nurse's outfit. The parrot balloon, please. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, look what we've bought. All your old toys. We missed them. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I've bought. It's an antique chair. Oh, Daddy Pig, that's not an antique chair. It is. Miss Rabbit just said so. And it matches my old one. Yes, Daddy. That's because... Shh, Peppa. It is your old chair. What? But Miss Rabbit has just charged me lots of money for it. Fantastic news, everybody. We have just raised all the money we need for a new school roof. Hooray! Thank you, Daddy Pig. Ho, ho. You're most welcome. Not <laughs> me. <laughs> Sorry, Richard. I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy! I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <sighs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy, your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Pepper. I told you I wouldn't splash. Clever, <laughs> Daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Yeah. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. I don't think we'll ever find our house again. <laughs> I'm sure we will, Pepper. We're only in our garden. <coughs> oh, it's the ducks. <coughs> Hello, Mrs. Duck. Have you lost your pond? <coughs> We're lost too. We are not lost. I know exactly where we are. <coughs> See you later, ducks. Good luck finding your pond. Whoa. Oh! Daddy Pig has found the duck pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, 
Mrs Duck says thank you. You're most welcome, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Now, let's find our house. I'm sure it's this way. Hello? Did you hear something? Yes, I thought I heard someone say... Hello? It's Mummy Rabbit with Rebecca and Richard. Hello, Peppa. We're lost. <laughs> Hello, Rebecca. We're lost too. We wanted to go to the playground. So did we, but it's too foggy to get there. Come on, everyone. Back to our house until the fog clears. Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. This way. Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Aha! I've found our little hill. We'll soon be home. Hooray! Our house should be just about here. Oh. Daddy Pig has found a ladder. That's strange. We don't have a ladder in our garden. Goodness me! Can you see where we are, Daddy Pig? Yes, I can! <laughs> Daddy, where are we? Why don't you have a look? OK. Wow! Wow! I can see everything again. The f Come on, you'll see. What can George's birthday treat be? George, what do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> Don't be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and... <laughs> and now, there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? What do you think it is, Peppa? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Peppa loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George... Why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? Ho, ho! It is a dinosaur! A bouncy dinosaur! Hooray! <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> The ducks always turn up when, when we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. <laughs> Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> All right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> here come more ducks. All their brothers and sisters are here. <laughs> and here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa Ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. <laughs> ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. <laughs> it is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead into the river. Oh, 
Are you sure? Yes. Drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes. It's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. <laughs> Camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a boat. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig. <coughs> uh, ahoy there. Beep, beep. Sailing on the river in the camper van. <laughs> Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home. home. I'll do it now. Ready, steady, go! I did it! Now we can have the picnic. <laughs> Silly Daddy! That's just a drawing. Yes. Now you must run to the real Windy Castle. Oh. Ready, steady, go. Hooray! Come on, Daddy Pig! You can make it! The school bus has made it to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water! Water! What a lovely hot day! And such a relaxing way to raise money, too. Water! Water! Daddy Pig has reached the supermarket. All the running has made him very thirsty. Let's look through the telescope. I can see Daddy. The telescope makes everything look closer. Oh, he's not going very fast. Daddy Pig has arrived at Grandad Dog's garage. Oh, that's it. I can't go on. Daddy has stopped. Oh. You look rather hot. You need something to cool you down and give you energy. Have an ice lolly. Thank you, Grandad Dog. That's nice. Ah, a wasp. Shoo, shoo. Get away, you little pest. The wasp wants to share Daddy Pig's ice lolly. No, this is my lolly. Daddy started running again, really fast. Hooray! Ah, get off, get off. You can stop now, Daddy Pig. We have enough money to fix the school roof. Ah! Pink isn't a very good colour for a football shirt. Ooh! Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig, we've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. <laughs> No, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm. What do you think, George? Yuck! George does not like pink. Here are Daddy Pig's friends, Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? He'll just be a moment. My team are in white. I need a white shirt. But, Daddy, you have a white shirt. Just take off your jacket. See? Fantastic! Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, oh, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Like your shirt. Very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's play football. Yes! Go! Go! Hooray! 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 Daddy, you've made your 
shirt all muddy. <laughs> of course, Pepper. Football shirts are meant to be muddy. <laughs> 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 Bonjour. Bonjour, Mr. Donkey. My goodness, is that huge case for Delphine? Yes, Delphine has brought a few little things for her visit. Things you do not have over here. Cheese, bread, tomatoes, water. <coughs> oh. Au revoir, Delphine. I will be back to pick you up tomorrow night. Where shall I put Delphine's luggage? In my room, at the very top of the house. Oh. <laughs> oh. And this luggage is for one night stay? Oh, yes. That is why I only pack a little bag. Oh. Now, Delphine is here to practice talking English, so we must all help her. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> First, I must say sorry. I do not speak English very well. You don't speak too badly. You are very kind, Monsieur Pig. But may I ask you a question about talking English? Of course. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking. Ask away. Are English split infinitives a form of irregular verb or past pronoun? Uh... Actually, it's quite late. Shall we set up Delphine's bed? Mummy! Mummy! Can Delphine sleep in my bed with a pillow at each end? Good idea, Pepper. Pepper and Delphine are sleeping at each end of the same bed. <laughs> <laughs> now, children, try to go to sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Delphine is visiting your playgroup. Wow! Dormez bien. Dormez bien is French for sleep well. I'm not sleepy at all. <laughs> Let's sing a little song to make us sleepy. Yes! Eh oh. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Can I speak to Mummy Pig, please? Oh, it's Daddy Pig. <gasps> Daddy Pig! You're not supposed to ring on this phone. It's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Daddy Pig, shall I light the barbecue now? Yes, please, Mr Rabbit. Do be careful with the barbecue, Daddy Pig. Trust me, Mummy Pig. We daddies know all about barbecues. Bye. Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! Fire! Oh, dear. Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Bobby's to the rescue! Whee! Hold tight. It's Miss Rabbit's fire engine. Yes! Stand back, Daddies! Mummy Dog, turn on the water. Aye, aye, Mummy Pig. The fire is out. Hooray! I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary chicken! <laughs> Emma, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> OK.
Okay, there's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard, and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party. And all their friends came. <laughs> right, I think I'd better sort this out. <laughs> Daddy Pig. They're almost asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take over now. You have to finish the story, Mummy. All right, quickly now. Tell me what's happened. Once upon a time, in olden days, a long time ago... Mummy Pig's been up there for a long time. I can hear snoring. At last, Pepper and George are asleep. And then they all lived happily ever after. The end. Pepper? George? Shush! Mummy is asleep. <laughs> it looks like Princess Pepper is the best at telling bedtime stories. That's right. I am. <laughs> <laughs> George, I'm going to show you how to do ballet. Is it difficult? It was easy for me, but you, George and Mummy, will find it very hard. <coughs> First, we need music. Good. Now, George, Daddy and Mummy, you must copy what I do. Madame Gazelle used funny words, but really, it's just bending your knees and jumping. Ah, the petit jeté. Daddy, you know the funny words. <laughs> Mummy Pig and I used to be quite good at ballet. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Our favourite was the pas de deux. That wasn't quite how I remembered it. <laughs> Silly Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should leave the ballet to Pepper. Yes. I am the best at it. I am a beautiful swan. <laughs> <laughs> the garden. He'll get wet. Don't worry, Peppa. Daddy Pig will rescue Teddy. You'd better hurry, Daddy Pig. It's just about to rain. I know all about thunderstorms. It won't rain for ages. <laughs> As I thought, plenty of time before it rains. <laughs> He's soaking wet. Yes, poor Teddy. Let's get him dry. Poor Teddy. <laughs> there you are, Teddy. All dry. <laughs> ah, chill. What about poor Daddy? I'm soaking wet too. Oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. Let's get you dry. <laughs> 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 there you are, Daddy Pig. Nice and dry. Hmm. Oh. The rain is coming in the house. The floor is getting wet. Oh, dear. What can we do, Daddy Pig? Don't worry. Daddy Pig is using a bucket to catch the drips. Well done, Daddy Pig. Easy as pie. Eh? Uh, what? <gasps> Quick, find something else to catch the water. Well done, Pepper. Easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, the thunderbags are very loud. It's okay, children. Don't be frightened. Let's count between each flash and bang. The higher we can count, 
the further away the thunderstorm is. One, two, three. That's three. Where's the water? <laughs> no need to panic. Oh dear, everyone is wet. <laughs> At least the car has been washed. We've all been washed. <laughs> <laughs> you go and dry yourselves while I polish the car. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Daddy Pig is polishing the car so well he can see his face in it. <laughs> what a funny face. <laughs> oh, more funny faces. <laughs> it's Pepper and George. <laughs> and Mummy Pig. What a lovely shiny car. Yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll drive today. Is everybody ready? Ready! Then let's go! I hope you will all keep this car clean today. Yes, Mummy Pig. Yes, Mummy Pig. <laughs> Mummy, now you've made the car all muddy again. <laughs> Naughty Mummy! <laughs> Naughty, messy Mummy! <laughs> the tent is a bit little. It was big enough for me when I was a boy, but it does look a bit small now. That's because you've grown a bit since you were a boy, Daddy Pig. And your tummy has grown the most of all. <laughs> oh, talking of tummies, we should cook supper. Yes, yes. First, we have to collect sticks to make a fire. Yippee! Pepper and George are helping Daddy Pig collect sticks for the campfire. George, I'll pick up the sticks and you can carry them. <laughs> Collecting sticks is fun. <laughs> Good. That's enough sticks. That's a splendid campfire. Now I'll light it. Here are the matches. Oh, oh, we don't need matches. Daddy, how can you light it without matches? I'm going to make fire the old way, by simply rubbing these two sticks together. Daddy Pig is rubbing the two sticks together to light the campfire. Where is the fire, Daddy? Nearly there. Hooray! Oh, easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> now we can heat up the tomato soup. Ah, listen to the sounds of nature. What is that sound? That is the sound of crickets chirping. What is that? That's an owl. Look, there it is. Wow! <gasps> What's that noise? Oh, I'm not sure. It's Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy rumbling is one of the best sounds of nature. It means it's time to eat. I love tomato soup. So do I. <laughs> oh, there's another one of Daddy Pig's sounds of nature. <laughs> Daddy have a big tummy? Of course not. He was very handsome. Like me. <laughs> anyway, there was also a dragon. Dinosaur! A dinosaur? Oh, yes. It wasn't a dragon. It was a dinosaur. Living outside was a huge, fierce dinosaur. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh dear, maybe the dinosaur wasn't quite that fierce, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Sorry, George. No, the dinosaur was very gentle. It ate lots of grass. Daddy Pig! Oh, sorry. I was being the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, why is the princess called the Sleepy Princess? I'm coming to that. You see, the sun set, then the stars and moon came out, and everyone got very sleepy. Ooh. 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 <sighs> but the most sleepy of all was the sleepy princess. <sighs> Peppa, are you sleepy? No, Daddy. I am not sleepy at all. <sighs> but somebody is. George, wake up. You'll miss the end of the story. <sniffs> well, Peppa might not be sleepy, but the sleepy princess certainly was. Looking at herself all day in the mirror had completely worn her out. <sighs> Let's carry you to bed. <sniffs> Good night. <sniffs> the sleepy princess was so sleepy, she had fallen fast asleep. <laughs> Say the secret words. Daddy's big tummy. That's right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> I think those are silly secret words. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, before you come in our house, you must take off your boots. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> There's room for Daddy, too. Say the secret words, Daddy. Can I have different secret words, please? No. <laughs> oh, all right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> That's right. You can come in now, Daddy. Take your boots off. Uh, uh, uh. I don't think I can fit through the door. <laughs> That's because your tummy's too big. <laughs> I know. Daddy Pig can climb in through the top. Pepper, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are all in the treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, I love our treehouse. I don't want to ever come out. That's nice, Pepper. But are you sure you don't want to visit me in my house? No, thank you, Granny. In that case, Grandpa Pig and I will just have to eat my homemade cookies all by ourselves. Cookies! <laughs> Granny Pig! Here are my homemade cookies. But if you want to come in, you have to say the secret words. That's easy. Daddy's big tummy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still think that those are very silly secret words. It's <laughs> 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 Rabbit the ice cream lady. <laughs> ice cream. On very hot days, Miss Rabbit sells ice cream. Mummy, Daddy. <laughs> Can George and I have an ice cream, please? Oh, well, I suppose it is an especially hot day. Yay! <laughs> please, can I have one as well? Everyone likes ice cream. Hello, Mummy Pig, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> what ice creams would you like? Can I have a cone, please, Miss Rabbit? Of course you may, Pepper. Thank you. <coughs> the same for me and one for Daddy Pig, please. And what would young Mr George like? A dinosaur? Silly George. He always says dinosaur for everything. Well, it just so happens that I do have a dinosaur shaped ice lolly. <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. George, you should eat your ice lolly before it melts. Dinosaur. George loves his dinosaur ice lolly so much he doesn't want to eat it. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Enjoy the weather. <laughs> George, I really think you should eat your ice lolly before it melts and falls on the ground. Oh, dear. 
George's dinosaur ice lolly has melted and fallen on the ground. Never mind, George. You can share Daddy's ice cream. I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> it is so warm, Daddy Pig has fallen asleep. Daddy Pig does look hot. Let's dip water on Daddy to cool him down. Good idea, Pepper. Whoa! What happened? You were all red and hot, Daddy Pig. So we tip water on you. Oh, I see. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Best spaghetti ever. You can tell you two are brothers. Alike in every way. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> we are completely different. <laughs> Pepper, George and I are going to do a puppet show. Fantastic. Call us when you're ready. <laughs> See you later. A puppet show? That sounds fun. Have I got time for some more spaghetti? Could I have some more too? <laughs> <laughs> The puppet show is about to begin. Hello, my name is Chloe. And I am Peppa. Ah, it's a dinosaur! A scary dinosaur! Eek. Oh, I say, that's very good. Bravo! I am Uncle Pig. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it looks just like you. I think they've made my tummy a bit big. Oh, oh, ho. I did enjoy my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Pig, are you going to fall asleep and snore like you always do? What do you mean? Daddy says you always fall asleep and snore loudly, like this. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> ho, ho, your daddy's right. I do snore like this. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you shouldn't have said those things about Uncle Pig. I don't think Daddy Pig or Uncle Pig can hear you. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig have fallen asleep. You can tell they are brothers. <laughs> hey, what happened? Huh? Has the puppet show started yet? <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness I don't have to exercise. I'm naturally fit. You don't look very fit, Daddy. Your tummy is a bit big. I'm very fit. I'll show you. What shall I do first? Touch your toes like this. Easy. Daddy, stop pretending that you can't touch your toes. Uh, I'm not pretending, Pepper. Daddy Pig really cannot touch his toes. Oh dear, Daddy. That's not very good. Mm. Maybe I should do a bit of exercise. Yes, Daddy. And I will start tomorrow. Daddy Pig, you have to start exercising now. Oh. Don't worry, Daddy. I will help you. Oh, all right. Peppa, you're in charge of getting me fit. What should I do first? First, you must do some press-ups. Easy. One. <laughs> two. There. Very good, Daddy. Now I want you to do... 100. 100? Yes. Come on, children. Help me make lunch. I'll help as well. No, Daddy. You've got 100 press-ups to do. Oh. One, <laughs> two, three, four, Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are in the five, kitchen making lunch. Six, Daddy Pig is seven, still doing his press ups. Eight, Daddy is doing very nine, well. Ten. Yes, 11, I do hope he's not overdoing 12, it. I'll go and see. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. <laughs> Seventeen. Daddy Pig! You're cheating! You should be doing press-ups. Oh, uh, there was something interesting on the TV. Naughty Daddy. Maybe Daddy will have more success with my old exercise bike. Aha! This looks like fun. I'll be able to cycle and watch TV at the same time. Maybe it just needs a little help. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your boat along. 
Peppa loves her sailboat. <laughs> Here is Peppa's friend, Susie Sheep. Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. <laughs> We're playing with our boats. <laughs> I've got my speedboat. Is it clockwork? No, it has batteries. Susie's speedboat uses batteries to make it go. Ooh. What a great speedboat. Sorry, Mrs. Duck. Here is Danny Dog with Grandad Dog. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Danny. Danny. My granddad has made me this paddle boat. Ooh. I say, that's impressive. How does it work? It's steam powered. I just push this little lever. Wow. What a fantastic paddle boat. Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her mummy. Hello, everyone. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with our boats. I wish I had a boat. Rebecca Rabbit does not have a boat. I've got an idea. Luckily, I brought my newspaper along. I just need one page. Which page can we lose? News? Sport? Ah, fashion. Not the fashion page. OK, I'll use the business page. When I was a little piggy, I used to fold newspaper like this. What is Daddy Pig doing? To make a paper boat. Daddy Pig has made a paper boat. Thank you, Mr Pig. Maybe it is time to cut the grass. Yes, Daddy Pig. I'll get the lawnmower. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Daddy Pig has found the lawnmower. It's a bit old and rusty. Nonsense. It'll have the grass cut in no time. It does seem a bit rusty. Maybe I should phone Grandpa Pig and ask if we can borrow his lawnmower. There's no need to phone Grandpa. I just need to push a bit harder. Daddy Pig's lawnmower is not very good. Oh. I know. Let's phone Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Could you help us cut some very long grass? Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Certainly. I'll be over right away. Bye. I think this is a job for Betsy. Grandpa Pig is driving his motor mower over to Peppa's house. Grandpa Pig! Papa Egg! Hello, everyone. I hear there's some grass that needs cutting. And it's just a bit too long for my lawnmower. <laughs> Don't worry. Betsy will have it done in no time. Is your lawnmower called Betsy? She certainly is. <laughs> Hello, Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, can we ride on Betsy? Of course you can. Hop aboard. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> We'll have this grass cut in no time. Hold tight. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! is very good at cutting grass. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> there. Finished. Grandpa, you've missed a bit. Oh, yes. What's this? Oh, the spotty ball. <laughs> the footprints are being made by ants. They're collecting leaves to eat. Are they going to have salad for lunch? <laughs> yes. Talking of lunch, let's have our picnic. Oh, the picnic. Daddy Pig, you've left the picnic in the car, haven't you? Uh, yes. 
but it's not a problem. We'll just go back to the car to eat. But which way is the car? My map will show us. This way. Oh, who put that tree there? It's not on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig, we're lost, aren't we? Uh, yes. How are we going to find our little car? George has found more footprints. Ooh, what big footprints? Dinosaur. Very interesting. What? Has George found some real dinosaur footprints? No, these are our footprints. And if we follow our footprints, we'll find the way back to our car. And our picnic. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can stop us finding our car now. We're home and dry. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Luckily, I remembered the umbrella. The rain is washing the footprints away. How are we going to find the car now? And our picnic. <laughs> it's the ducks. They always turn up at picnics. Sorry, Mrs. Duck. We haven't got a picnic this time. We can't find it. I know. Mrs. Duck, can you help us find our picnic, please? <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Hooray! Thank you, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> <laughs> I love nature trails. Yes, and I love picnics. Maybe you need a toy cupboard. Yes, I could make one tomorrow. The last thing you made, Daddy Pig, was this shelf. I'm very proud of that shelf. But, Daddy, it's all wobbly. We use it as a slide for Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's buy a new toy cupboard. We can buy one now, on the computer. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy Pig is using the computer to buy a toy cupboard. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, which one shall we get? Can we have this one, please? That looks perfect. Mummy Pig is buying the toy cupboard. Congratulations! Your toy cupboard is ordered. Oh, goody! It is morning, and Mr Zebra the Postman has a special delivery. Post! <laughs> special delivery for Miss Peppa Pig and Master George. What is it? It's a toy cupboard. Oh, it looks a bit flat. Yes, you build it yourself. Oh. Don't worry, Peppa. It'll be very easy for your mummy and daddy to build. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Now what do we do? Now we build your toy cupboard. Yes! <laughs> That's strange. There aren't any instructions. Maybe it's so easy to build, it doesn't need instructions. Mummy, can we help? Yes. First, I need a shelf. <laughs> Here's a green shelf. Thank you, Pepper. Now I need four legs. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four blue legs, Mummy. Lovely. We'll have this done in no time. Here's a red door, Mummy Pig. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> what a tiny little kitchen. Where's the picnic? The obvious place would be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a picnic. Then it must be here. And that's not a picnic. This kitchen has everything in the wrong place. Wow, TV. Daddy Pig cannot find the picnic. It's impossible. If this was my kitchen, the picnic would be here. Oh, well done, Peppa. Peppa has found the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Duck. Would you like some bread? <laughs> Pepper and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> Look out! Long reeds ahead. Don't worry. Grandpa's boat will easily go through them. 
Are we stuck? No. We can reverse. Now are we stuck? Yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the reeds. I'll just give it a little push. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. When I say go, start the engine. Aye, aye, Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Go! Daddy Pig has pushed the boat out of the reeds. Hooray! Oh, quick, Daddy! Jump back on the boat! <laughs> oh, no! Daddy Pig is being left behind. Swift faster, Daddy! Stop the engine! What's he saying? Stop the engine! Daddy says, stop the engine! Oh. Are you OK, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. But let's head for home before we have any more adventures. Aye, aye, aye Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. The wonderful world of concrete. Concrete is a construction material composed of sand, water and chemical admixtures. Chapter 1. Sand. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig have fallen asleep. It is morning. Pepper and her family have come to the library. <laughs> wow! What a lot of books! Shh! Pepper, you must be quiet in the library. Why? Because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please! Miss Rabbit is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. Um, I may have borrowed this book for a bit too long. Oh, don't worry, Daddy Pig. It can't be that bad. Gosh! Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty Daddy. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit, can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Fairies, flowers, pretty dresses. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Peppa. <laughs> hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. Danger, danger. Oil is low. What's oil? Oil helps engines to run smoothly. Will the oil run out? No. These warnings always give you plenty of time. Oil is gone. Oh, dear. Luckily, I've got a spare can of oil. Well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> We simply pour the oil into the engine and... Oh. What's wrong? There's nothing in here. The engine's gone. It's Mummy Sheep with Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. We've lost our engine. Lost your engine? Yes. <laughs> it's completely disappeared. I'd like to help, but I don't know a thing about engines. I'm probably just being silly, but this looks a bit like an engine. Ah, yes. Well spotted, Mummy Sheep. The camper van has its engine at the back. There. That should be enough oil. Thank you, Mummy Sheep. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. Are we nearly there yet? Just up the next hill. You have reached your destination. Hooray! Time for bed. Where will we sleep? Mummy Pig and I will sleep on this bed. Ooh! And you two will sleep upstairs. But there is a 
elephant and upstairs. Oh, oh, watch this. The camper van roof is lifting up. The camper van is just like our little house. <laughs> While we're on holiday, it is our little house. <laughs> How much for one go? One pound. <laughs> Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. Here's your giant teddy. Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh, that really is high. Whoa. <laughs> Phew! I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Roll up, roll up. Test your strength on the old hammer and bell. What do we have to do? You hit this button with this hammer. If the bell rings, you win a prize. <laughs> No skill involved, but you need to be strong. I'll have a go. One pound. Bad luck. Ho, oh, oh, ho, I'm strong. I'll have a go. Stand back, everyone. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. You're not that fit. Oh, oh yes, Daddy Pig is looking a bit tubby. What? I'm just saying Daddy Pig is a bit round in the tummy. Give me that hammer. Goodness me. I've never seen anything like it. That wins all the giant teddies we have. Hooray! Mummy, can we give these teddies to my friends? What a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Peppa. Peppa. Most kind. Thank you very much. Miss <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Peppa, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Ho, oh, oh. ho! I'm an expert at ice cream. Can I have a cherry ice cream? Uh, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, banana. With pistachio and strawberry, please. Ah, strawberry. Oh, it's melted. How about ice cream soup instead? Granddad dog's breakdown service. Miss Rabbit is ill. Can you drive a bus today? Of course, Peppa. <laughs> All aboard! Mummy Sheep's car has broken down. Granddad Dog's Breakdown Service. Can you rescue me, please? I'll be straight there. We would like to apologise for any inconvenience this may cause to your journey. Driving a bus is quite hard. Selling ice cream is quite hard. Running a supermarket checkout is quite hard. I'm feeling better. Can I get up now? No, you must lie very still, but please keep breathing. Are you feeling any better, Miss Rabbit? It's not easy doing all your jobs. It's not easy looking after your little bunnies. <laughs> you will be back to work tomorrow, won't you? Yes. And you'll be back at home, won't you? Yes. What's the matter? We're in a secret club doing secret things and Susie's told everyone. Oh, can I be in your secret club, please? Please, I've always wanted to be in a secret club. It's very hard to get into. You must say the secret word. Which is? 
Pick a needle noodle. Pick a needle noodle? That's it. You're in. What happens now? Look out. It's Daddy Pig. You talk to my daddy, but don't say anything about our secret club. Hello. Ah, there you are, Mummy Sheep. What's new? Uh, um, uh, uh, secret club. Oh, no! Ooh, I always wanted to be in a secret club. Can I join, please? You can't join, Daddy, because you are grown up. Uh, my mummy is grown up. Well, you have to know the magic word. Which is? Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. You're in. What do I do now? Look out. It's Mummy Pig. Follow Mummy in secret. Daddy Pig. Ah, hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing in that bush? Um, uh, secret club. Oh. I've always wanted to be in a secret club. We can't have everyone in the secret club. It wouldn't be a secret. Oh. I suppose it doesn't have to be a secret secret club. <laughs> it can be the everybody secret club. And everybody can be in it. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Mr Fox. It's afternoon, Mr Pig. Afternoon? Already? My watch must have stopped. My shop sells watches and clocks. Let me see what I've got in the van. One grandfather clock. It's a bit big. Good, isn't it? It actually comes in a set of three. Oh. Who's got the loudest bell? I haven't got a bell. Oh, but my dad will have one in the back of his van. Three clocks are much better than one. Dad, have you got a bicycle bell, please? How many do you want, son? I only want one. I do them in boxes of two. Freddy Fox now has two bicycle bells. Brilliant. Thanks, Dad. Dad gave me two bells. Wow. What else has your dad got in his van? He's got everything. Ooh. What shall we play now? Let's have a bicycle race with a big shiny cup for the winner. But where can we get a cup? Yes, where can we get a cup? I'll see what I can do. The best thing about having your own cement mixer is... Dad, have you got a big shiny winner's cup for our bicycle race, please? How important a race is it? It's very important. Will this do? Well, thanks, Dad. It's gold. Yes, it's plastic gold. Ooh. Ooh. One winner's cup. It's made of plastic gold. Wow! I used to play this to Mummy Pig when we first met. Oh, Daddy Pig. I remember this tune. <laughs> <laughs> George wants to play the accordion too. Are you sure, George? The accordion is quite difficult. George, the accordion is almost as difficult to play as my drum. <laughs> OK, George. <laughs> oh. Maybe George is a bit too little to play the accordion. Daddy, what other instruments are in the box? Just this horn. Can I try? You have to blow it very hard. That does not sound right. It's impossible. I think I used to be able to play it. That really does not sound right. <laughs> Maybe it just needs someone big and strong like me. 
That does not sound right either. <sighs> Peppa's right. It is impossible to play. Never mind, Daddy Pig. Just stick to the accordion. You play it beautifully. <laughs> well, I do play it quite nicely, even if I say so myself. And I'll play my violin. And I will play my drum. Mummy Pig plays the violin. Daddy Pig plays the accordion. Peppa plays the drum. But what instrument will George play? <laughs> what do you little tigers want to do next? Dinosaur! That's right. We have to find George a dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Let's get you all balloons. <laughs> Hello, Madam Gazelle. We'd like some balloons, please. Certainly. I've got lots of different ones. Can I have an elephant balloon, please? Here you are, Peppa. Can I have a kangaroo? A lion, please. A monkey, please. A parrot, please. <laughs> oh, yes, I've got all those. <laughs> Most important of all, we need a dinosaur balloon for George. Oh, dear. I do not seem to have any dinosaur balloons. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I've got an idea. Could we have two of the long balloons, please? Watch this, everybody. What is Daddy Pig doing with the balloons? There. Can anyone guess what it is? Is it a kangaroo? <laughs> no, it's a... Dinosaur. That's right, a dinosaur. Daddy Pig has made a balloon dinosaur. Grrr. Dinosaur. Now the bouncy castle. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa loves bouncing on the bouncy castle. Everyone loves bouncing on the bouncy castle. This is the best school fate ever. <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper, and George are decorating the sitting room. <laughs> this is fun! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have arrived for Mummy Pig's birthday. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Aren't you coming inside? Oh, I can't come in yet. Daddy Pig, Peppa and George are doing secret things for my birthday. How lovely. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Mummy, would you like to come inside now? I'd love to. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed, Mummy. <laughs> One, two, three, open your eyes! Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday, yeah. Mummy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely surprise! Blow the candles out and make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, open your present. Can you guess what it is? I've no idea. Open it and see. It's a beautiful dress. Oh. You're beautiful, Mummy. <laughs> now you just need somewhere nice to wear it. What's this? Two tickets to the theatre, tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves going to the theatre. And Granny Pig and I are going to babysit the little ones. Hooray! <laughs> what a super birthday. I'm the luckiest Mummy in the whole world. <laughs> And the most beautiful. <laughs> Pepper and her family like the new blue car. There are so many buttons in this new car. What does the green button do, Daddy? Let's see. Magic windows! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, make the magic windows go down. 
What does the blue button do? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I love this new car. Can we keep it? No, we can't keep it, Pepper. We've only borrowed it for today. Oh? Oh, no. I think it's going to rain. Yes, I'll just put the roof up. Now, which is the button to close the roof? <laughs> Whoops! Silly me! Aha! This must be the button! Ah! The new car has squirted Daddy Pig with water. <laughs> Silly Daddy, that's not the roof. This button! Oops, not that one. This button! Ah! Ah! Daddy Pig has forgotten which button closes the roof. I don't think this car likes me. Let's try the red button. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> but now it's stopped raining. Can we open the roof again? Uh, yes. Which button was it? The, the red, red one! one. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Grandad Dog has fixed the car. Your car is fixed. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, Grandad Dog. And keep the change. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy Pig wears glasses. He needs to wear glasses to see clearly. When Daddy Pig wears his glasses, everything looks fine. But when Daddy Pig takes his glasses off, he can't see things clearly. Everything looks a bit soft and fuzzy. So it is very important that Daddy Pig knows where his glasses are. Sometimes Daddy Pig loses his glasses. Peppa, George, have you seen Daddy Pig's glasses? He can't find them anywhere. No, Mummy. Peppa and George do not know where Daddy Pig's glasses are. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot see a thing without them, and it makes him very grumpy. Without his glasses on, Daddy Pig cannot read his newspaper. This is ridiculous. I can't see anything. Somebody must have put my glasses somewhere. Do you remember where you last put them, Daddy Pig? When I don't wear them, I always put them in my pocket. But they aren't there now. Daddy, can we help find your glasses? Good idea, Pepper. If you find them, Daddy will stop being so grumpy. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are looking for Daddy's glasses. Pepper looks under the newspaper, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks on top of the television, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. Let's look upstairs in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. I'll map read and Mummy Pig will drive. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? When you map read, we always get lost and you get grumpy. We will not get lost and I will not get grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Windy Castle, here we come. Are we nearly there yet? Not quite. Oh. Would you like to play a game? Yes, please. Let's play I Spy. OK. I'll go first. Daddy Pig has to secretly look at something and the others have to guess what it is. I spy with my little eye something coloured red. Red? My dress! That's red. No, it's not your dress. Hmm. The car! That's right. Our red car. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, go! I spy with my little eye something blue. Hmm. George's blue shirt. Nope. Is it something in the car? No. Give up. 
Yes. The sky. The blue sky. I win. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig, do you know where we are? I know exactly where we are. Although, this road doesn't look the same as it does on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig, we're lost. We are not lost. So how do we get to Windy Castle from here? Just give me a moment. Mm. I know. We can ring Granny and Grandpa. There's no need to ring Granny and Grandpa. I'll get us to Windy Castle if it takes me all day. We haven't got all day. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Grandpa Pig, we've got a bit lost on the way to Windy Castle. No, <laughs> is Daddy Pig doing the map reading? <laughs> yes, Daddy Pig is doing the map reading, and he's a bit grumpy at the moment. I am not grumpy. Don't break the wall, Daddy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Peppa. Easy as pie. Oh, it's not meant to do that. Daddy Pig has made a big crack in the wall. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the wall. It's just a tiny crack. The picture will hide it. There. I can still see the crack, Daddy. Yes. I'll just take the nail out and fill in the crack. Don't make a mess, Daddy. Oh, don't be silly, Peppa. Oh. It's coming out. Whoa! Oh, Daddy. Now you really have broken the wall. Mm. Do you think Mummy will notice? Uh, yes, I think she might. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, George. <laughs> what are they doing? Daddy, we can see you. <laughs> Daddy Pig has to mend the wall before Mummy Pig comes home. Brick, please. <laughs> First, Daddy Pig fills the hole with bricks. <laughs> there. <laughs> Next, Daddy Pig puts plaster over the bricks. <laughs> Easy as pie. Then Daddy Pig paints the wall. <laughs> Good as new. The wall is mended. Hooray! <laughs> But look at all the mess they have made. Goodness me. We'd better clean up before Mummy comes back. First, Daddy Pig quickly washes Pepper and George. Then Pepper vacuums the floor. And Daddy Pig tidies up the tools. Oh dear, the bubble mixture is all used up. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Mummy! There's no more bubble mixture. Don't worry, Pepper. I have an idea. <laughs> Mummy Pig, bring me a bucket, please. Yes, Daddy Pig. Pepper, bring me some soap. Yes, Daddy Pig. George, bring me my old tennis racket. <laughs> a bucket, some soap, a tennis racket. What is Daddy Pig doing? First, I need some water. Then the soup. <laughs> and now, the tennis racket, please. <laughs> Thank you. Now watch this. <gasps> Ooh, wow! <laughs> Daddy Pig has made his own bubble mixture. Come on, everyone! <laughs> be careful, Daddy Pig. Don't slip and fall. I'll be fine. Whoa. <laughs> Are you okay, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Two. Wow! Daddy Pig has made the biggest bubble ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I've spilt all my bubble mixture. Now we can't make any more bubbles. Hmm. 
But we can play jumping in muddy puddles. Look! Daddy Pig's bubble mixture has made a big muddy puddle. Hooray! Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Look! The bubble mixture has made the puddle all bubbly. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy, bubbly puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy, bubbly puddles. <laughs> George wants to ride on the potato rocket, too. Are you sure, George? It looks a bit high. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Moo! Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Oh, I'm not getting on. George is too small to go on his own. Oh, OK. Make it quick. Oh, it's very quick. <laughs> George has changed his mind. Oh, dear, George. Come to Mummy. Maybe I'll just get off, too. George, away! Have fun, Daddy Pig. Uh... Oh, it stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the dinosaur garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. But this is exactly how they would have looked walking the Earth together. No, it's not. What? Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. The Stegosaurus was Jurassic. They would not have walked together. How do you know that? I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> Anyway, who wants to ride one? Me! Me! Why have you got dinosaurs in Potato City? Uh, because dinosaurs ate potatoes? What are you doing, Daddy? I'm building a new house. It's very small. Is it a house for elves and fairies? Oh, oh, no. This is a model. The real house will be much bigger. Ah! And this is a drawing of what needs to be built. I think something is missing, Daddy. There. Pepper has drawn a swing to go outside the house. Perfect. Would you like to visit the new house? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is taking Pepper and George to see the house he is building. Here we are! But, Daddy, there's nothing here. That's because the building work hasn't started yet. Digger! Digger! <laughs> here are Mr Bull and his friends. Mr Bull has come to build the new house. Aren't you building it, Daddy? I've done the hard bit. Mr Bull just has to follow my instructions. Uh... Hello, Mr Pig. What's it to be? Car park? Swimming pool? Rocket station? A house. Can you build it exactly like this, please? But bigger. Mr Pig wants a house. Is it going to be built of straw? Or sticks? Or bricks, Mr Pig? Bricks, please. Good choice. Don't forget the swing. Don't worry, Pepper. We won't. <laughs> Can I help? <laughs> George wants to help too. OK, George. Could you put a blob of mortar here? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like squelchy mud. Mortar is a very special kind of mud that sticks bricks together. <laughs> Pepper, would you like to lay the first brick? Yes, please. Well done. I'll do the rest. To play basketball, you need to train hard and keep fit. Are you fit, Daddy Coach? Yes. 
I'm super fit. But, Daddy Coach, you've got a big tummy. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> First, I'll teach you how to get the ball from here to here. I can do that. No, Danny. You can't use your feet. That's football. Danny Dog likes football. In basketball, you bounce the ball with your hands, like this. Who wants a go? Me, me, me! Susie Sheep is bouncing the basketball very carefully. Well done, Susie. Now everyone try. Everyone is learning how to bounce the ball. <laughs> now I'll teach you tackling. What's tackling? Tackling is trying to get the ball from another player, like this. Try and get the ball from me, George. <laughs> George is very good at tackling. Now throw the ball through the hoop. <laughs> you need just a bit more training there, George. <laughs> Let's have a little practice game. Split into two teams. <laughs> Boys against girls. <laughs> the girls are in one team, the boys are in the other. That's not fair. We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry, the boys' team will still win. Yeah, we're a super team. <whistles> ah. Emily Elephant is very good at reaching high with her trunk. Emily's using her trunk. It's not... Shush, Peppa. She's on our side. <laughs> hmm. It's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Ho, oh, oh. ho. I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I'm a grown-up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Ah. Where are the brakes? <laughs> Clever, Daddy. You use the duck pond to stop. Ah. What was that big splash? What big splash? Daddy Pig, did you know you've got a duck on your head? Oh, uh, yes. Well, I did fall in the pond. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! George wants to ride on the toy horse. Go! Go! Oh. George cannot make the horse go. If only there was someone big and strong to push George along. I'm big and strong. I can push George. What a good idea, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> horsey, horsey! George! She's called Twinkle Toes! Horsey! Twinkle Toes! Horsey! <laughs> I know! Because the present is for both of us, we'll call her Horsey Twinkle Toes! <laughs> Peppa and George love playing together with Horsey Twinkle Toes. <laughs> A present. Is it for me or George? <laughs> no, Pepper. It's not for you or George. Oh, is it a toy? No, it's a glass vase. That's a bit of a boring present. Oh, ho, ho. It's a present for grown-ups. We've bought this for Granny and Grandpa Pig. It's their wedding anniversary. Can me and George buy them a present too? That's very sweet of you, Pepper. But presents can cost a lot of money. We've got money in our piggy bank. Peppa and George have one penny and two buttons to spend. OK, let's go shopping. This is Mr Fox's shop. Hello there. Can I help you? It's Granny and Grandpa Pig's wedding anniversary. They're both very old and need a present. My shop has everything. Oh, I'm sure you'll find something you like. A big teddy. I love it. 
This can be the present. Peppa, the present is not for you. It's for Granny and Grandpa. Oh, yes. Oh, look. Funny teeth. They're wind-up joke teeth. Very popular. <laughs> <laughs> can they be the present for Granny and Grandpa? I think Granny and Grandpa have all the teeth they need, Peppa. Do your Granny and Grandpa like gardening and digging? Yes. Then why not get them a bucket and spade each? Buy one, get one free. They've already got spades and buckets and forks and everything. Oh, dear. I know. Grandpa likes sailing his boat. Say no more. I have everything a sailor could ever wish for. Do you have pirate's treasure? Uh, everything except pirate's treasure. Oh. I know. We can play the rainy day game. What's the rainy day game? I'll show you. If I take this rubber duck and hide it where you can see it, do you think you could find it? Daddy, if we can see it, you haven't hidden it. Watch this. I will put the duck here. Now, you tell me where it is. There. Exactly. It's too easy, Daddy. It won't always be so easy, Peppa. Who wants to go first? Because it's an easy game, George can go first. OK, you all wait here. Daddy Pig is putting the rubber duck somewhere for George to find. The duck is somewhere in your bedroom. George is looking for the rubber duck. <laughs> <laughs> but it is quite difficult to find. Oh. George, you can see it. Just look with your eyes. George is using his eyes to look for the rubber duck. You're getting warmer. Colder. Warm again. George has found the rubber duck. <laughs> Hooray! I saw it straight away. This game is too easy. <laughs> OK, Peppa's turn. I will do the hiding this time. Mummy Pig is going to put the rubber duck somewhere for Peppa to find. I will see it straight away. Ready! The rubber duck is somewhere in the kitchen. I've come to find you, rubber ducky. I know where you are. You're in the sink. Oh! The rubber duck is not in the sink. I know. You're hiding under the table. The rubber duck is not under the table. Give me a clue, please. It's sitting with something else that's yellow. Something yellow that lives in the kitchen. Bananas! There you are! 